again god has been faithful okay guys so today i have something very important to share with you the five five most important things in life five most important things in life so if this sounds like something you'll be interested in listening so i need to stick around to the end of the video <laughs> God. You see, God did not create a world he would not be needed in it. No, 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 no. Don't ever make that mistake to say, okay, God, God is there, I am I'm here, do my thing. No. God created a world that he will be the most important thing in. God created you and I that we might reverence him, that we might worship him. So the God factor cannot be kept aside. No. So God created you and I for us to honor. So let your relationship with God be, be, be personal and dynamic. Let your relationship with God be a one on one father and child. You know, you know how father and child bond, the bond between a father and child. That is how God wants us to be with Him. That is how God wants us to relate with Him. Let God be the first, the go person when you are in, in your need. Let God be the first in everything that you do. Don't be too accomplished in life. Don't be too fulfilled. You know, you have everything that you don't need God. No. Hey, guys. God gave you that life to glorify his name. You do not own your life. Uh, the other time we went for evangelism, I had, uh, we got to a house and, um, uh, the, the owner of the house came out and was like, we're preaching hey, hey, that um, it is the poor people that pray. It is the poor people that go to church. Whoa! <laughs> Don't be too accomplished. Don't be too accomplished that you keep God in the background now. So people put God in their wardrobe, in their closet. You know, it is when they, they, they hit the rock. That's when they will run back to that God. No. Let God be your first, your most important thing to start your day. When you wake up in the morning, kneel before him, reverence him, bow before him, acknowledge him. God wants to be acknowledged. You know, he wants to, he wants you to, to, to take him as the most important thing. If you give, give God that place in your life as the most important thing, he will take you important as well. Okay, so don't keep God behind, you know, just keep God behind. No, let him be in front. Let him be ahead. Okay, put God ahead. Start your day with worshiping him. Thank you, Lord, for the life you've given to me. Thank you that I have woken up. It's a privilege, guys. So it's not your, your power that you woke up to see a new day. So that is for number one, God factor. All right, so let's move ahead. Number two. The next most important thing in life is you. Yes, you, me, you, me. Yes, you watching me. You are important. You are a VVIP. Many people do not value themselves. Many people do not know their worth. Many people do not know, you know, many people do not love themselves. That is the truth. And you cannot give what you don't have. If you don't love yourself, you can't love some other, uh, some other person. Okay? So, love yourself. Cherish yourself. Appreciate yourself. Celebrate yourself. You know, there are times you just, you know, take yourself out. Invite yourself to a treat. You know, take yourself out to a restaurant. You know, just have a drink. You know, get a wine. Pop the wine. Pop champagne. You know. Celebrate yourself. You see, it's not easy to be alive. I believe you know that. It's not. So celebrate your own life that you are alive. Celebrate. Many people that are dead wish to be in this that life that you are. So celebrate yourself that you are alive. Celebrate that you are graduate. Hey, come on. There are many people that have gotten admission in school, but they've never graduated. There are many of your mates that you left primary school or secondary school together they never got admission into the higher institution so hey what are you telling me celebrate yourself that you're a graduate celebrate yourself that you're married it's not easy 
God took you out of that, you know, singlehood and placed you in the in the home. In your wife, your husband, celebrate yourself for that. It's not easy to raise children. God has given you children. Many women, many families are looking for the fruits of the womb, but God gave it to you. Hey, celebrate yourself for that. It's an achievement. Celebrate your little wins. Okay, your life may not be even be looking like anything good. You will say, ah, there's nothing, nothing, no. Hey, guys, celebrate yourself just the way you are. God loves you the way you are. Okay, so celebrate yourself. Give yourself a nice treat. Buy expensive things for yourself. Many people, they would always go for low quality. So then they look at the price. Hey, mm -mm. When the money is there, you know, also give yourself that nice perfume. Give yourself that, you know, design. When, when you have the money, please, you know, just, just celebrate yourself. And tell yourself that you have a future. You, your, your future is colorful. Your future is bright. And you will get there. So encourage yourself. Give yourself a pat at the back. Hey, Mary, you are doing well. God is on your side, you know. Encourage yourself. You don't have to wait for somebody to encourage you. And don't allow anybody to look down on you. Don't allow anybody to make you feel less of yourself. No. So take charge of your life. Love yourself. Self-love is paramount, okay. Okay, guys, so sit on, it shouldn't be only on your birthdays that you celebrate yourself. You need to see how people arrange on their birthday. Yeah, it is good, but please, it shouldn't be only on your birthdays. You know, if you love cake, give yourself a treat to cake. You know, just go out, you and yourself, play some music, okay? Even if it's inside your room, just play some music and dance. Excuse yourself, dance, you say, Mary, excuse me, dance. And you dance to celebrate yourself okay don't make yourself look like there's nothing good no god has if you know what god what it took god to take to create you you know so see yourself as that that royalty that you are forgive yourself that mistake yes it's a mistake please let it go forgive yourself that that mistake no one is perfect so forgive yourself and move on don't look behind look look ahead let the past be the past so see yourself in that in that new light okay give yourself hope because there is hope for you actually there is hope for you okay so number three on my list is family family god in his infinite wisdom created a family for a purpose God wasn't stupid when he created a family. No. He created a family so that, you know, family that stays together, family that sticks together, family you have somebody that, you know, you have somebody that watches your back, you have somewhere you can run into. You see, the whole world can reject you, but you see family. Don't joke with family. For me, outside God, the next important thing to my life is my family. The world can 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 reject you, the world can can you know abandon you, but your family will not let you be, you know, they will always come to your aid. So love your family. Stay with your family. So I'll be categorizing it one after the other. I'll take one after each in the family, the roles everybody play. As a father, create a memories in the minds of your children, a lasting memory. Be dear for your children, be dear for your wife, be dear for your, your children, you know. For me, my late dad of blessed memory, I still have that memory that, ah, whenever my dad is around, so he always travel, he's around, I, I always sit with him in the front seat, you know, I always walk around with him, you carry me, you play with me, you know, create that memory. Don't always be the father that whenever you are coming back, everyone is on the run. Don't be the lion of the tribe of your house. Let your children miss you. Ah, oh, daddy, daddy is traveling. Everybody will be crying. Daddy, when are you going to come back? Daddy, please come back quick. Be that type of a father. Don't be the, hey, stop there, stay there. Everybody will just be running. No. Bond with your children. 
one week then i remember my dad the first outing i remember my dad took us, took us to a zoo you know we saw the animals and he was giving us telling us the names and how the animals do you know in the zoo he took us out then after that we drove to a place uh, a restaurant then you know you eat what you want to eat you order for what you want to eat, you order for the drink you know everybody you know just bubbling you know so let's let it be outings family outings on sunday after church you know Take your children out, take your family out, let everybody be happy. So that when you are not there, let everybody will miss you. This is that memory, you know, that will still, will still be there. Let your, your daughters, let your sons run to you as a father. Let them be, you know that, ah, my dad will fight for me. My daddy will defend me. Defend your family, protect them. From external forces. Let the home be welcoming. This is what God is speaking to us today. Let your home be welcoming. You shouldn't be the one that even those living with you are scared. So as a mother, be that loving mother. A mother that is tender. A mother that cares for her children. A mother that understands. A mother that can see even if you don't, even if the child doesn't speak. A mother that can, you know, from the body language of a child, you understand what is wrong with the child. Let your child be able to, to Confide in you as a mother. Don't be the top mother that scares children away from her. No. So bond with your children. Gist. Ah, my mom. If you need, you need to see the way me and my mom gist. Hey, you think we are mates? You understand? So gist with your children. Let them be your friends. Let them be your friends. And let your, your children know when you, you have money. Let them know when you don't have money. Let them also know how you make money. The, the stress, what is, is the, what you face in on a daily basis as you go out in search of money. Let them know. Involve them in everything. And as children, love your parents. Love them. Respect them. These are who God has placed in, in our lives to guide us. These are the God we are seeing. So love them, cherish them. I, I always envy people when I see people with their with their dad, you know. I lost my own dad some years back, you know, but whenever I see people with their father, oh I always I always envy them because I wish my dad was also here with them. So you have your parents, it's you, your both parents. Cherish them. Make them feel like yes, this is my father. Ah, I'm so proud of my mother. Hey guys, don't even go there. You know, I'm so proud. Even my dad, in his, in his memory, I'm so proud of him. Because he made me who I am. He gave me that boldness to be able to face the world. He made me to, that, that timidity, he took away timidity. He took away that self-pity, uh, yeah, that, uh, you know, uh, shyness away from me. He, there are times my dad would call everybody has a time with my father he will call you into the room you both of you together you know he will encourage you he will ask you uh, what's your age and uh, what do you intend to be in future and he will guide you you know those things those those bond things I, I whenever i remember oh I, it, it, it gladdens my heart so family love protect your family provide for your family when the money is there, let everybody enjoy, let everybody, you know, enjoy it. So that when, when there's no food, we all know that there's no food and we'll manage. Okay, so I've really dwelled on that. So let's move to the next thing. Number four on my list is relationship. Mm -hmm. Relationship. You see, the gift of man is the greatest asset. The gift of man is the greatest asset. You can be the richest man in the world, but when you don't have anybody, you don't have anybody by your side, and you fall ill at night, for example, with your money, your millions, by your bedside, if there is nobody to come and help you, give you drugs, to go and get drugs for you, your money is, is rubbish. Don't you see that? So the gift of mankind is the greatest asset, so value it. Have a cycle, build a cycle of friends, of like minds, friends that can help you, friends that you can, you know, that you can lean on, friends that can, can be with you in times of, in, in good times and in bad times. 
I don't mean friends that bully you, friends that uh, stigmatize you, no. But create companies with people, connect with people that will lift you. Don't connect with people that take you, drag you backward. So build your relationship, invest in relationship. If you do not invest in a relationship, you cannot get it. So people were not there for you, but in, in, uh, the, later on they like they want you to be there for them. No, it's a give and take in relationship. So know me when I'm poor, so that when I'm rich, we can still be friends. So you see that so be, invest in quality relationship with people. Many people, there are so many contacts on our phone, we've never said hello. It's just on our phone. No. You can just sit a text message or just call I, I call to check up on you call your friends call your family members check up on someone you never can tell even a call somebody called there may be a time that you're in a depressed mood something is troubling you eating your and someone calls you and you don't get relief i believe you understand that so this is what god is speaking to us create good relationships interact with people make connections don't be an island a tree cannot make a forest. So bond, create friends. Anywhere you go, make friends. Friends that affect your life positively. Friends that are ahead of you. There's, you know, there's some the way you relate to some people that are already ahead, you know, in their intellect, in their thinking or business ways, they will also open your eyes. You interacting with them, being in that company. After all, the Bible says, he that work with the wife shall himself be wise. So do you see why it is relevant for you to, to have good relationship with people. People that will always that can be there for you. If in all your circle of friends there's no one that you can call on when you are in a deep problem, guys, then you need to change that circle. So this is what God is speaking to us. So I'll okay, guys. So I believe you've been finding this video interesting, and I believe you're learning something. So please give this video a thumbs up. Please share so other people can also learn. Okay, subscribe if you haven't. So number five, number five is your career or your job. Are you a student? Please take your studies seriously. It is a great privilege to be in school. Many of your mates are out there. They desire to be in high institution or even going to secondary school, but they do not have anyone to sponsor them. So you being in school, Please take your studies seriously. You must burn that night candle. Do your own part and give the rest to God. Are you a one that you, you have office, you have a job? Your job is very important. What you are gifted for is superior to what you are trained for. God has embedded into every one of us a gift, a special gift. Discover that gift and work with it. The Bible says the gift of a man make it way for him. So discover your gift and you start using it. Be serious with your job. Don't go late, you know, don't do anything that will jeopardize your job. So take your job seriously, take your career seriously, work with it. There's no food for a lazy man. So this is what God is speaking to us. The five most important things that we've discussed. One, God. Two, you. Three, family, four, relationship, and five, your career or your job. I believe you've learned something, and I want you to please share so others can also learn. And give the video a thumbs up, help this channel to grow. God bless you. So I'll see you some other time in my other video. Please, God is always speaking. So I want us to take correction where it is necessary. I leave you with the peace of God. Jesus loves you. You are important. Don't forget that. Bye for now. Bye.